Hey, Elena. I'm so glad you took part in this challenge. I think you may be only one of a couple that did. And you can change it up and make it your own, but I loved how you did it. You walked over the ground poles. You can also um, trot over the ground poles, but I absolutely love this ranch riding pattern because of the lead departures, the simple transitions, the stopping, the backing, the 360s. It's everything to keep our basics tuned up on our barrel horses. And what's fun about it is you're working in an arena, um, slow and controlled, while you have barrels and such set up and he's focused on you. You did mention he doesn't care for the hackamore. You're trying to find something to ride him in that's not his competition bridle. But I do love how you did everything here was pretty. Um, he's such a big horse. He takes uh, so much of the arena in just ease because of his big stride. So, But your transitions are really pretty. He's picking up the correct leads nicely. Um, yeah, there were times he tossed his head and got on, on the ver behind the vertical. Like you said, you just you haven't found something he really likes. So if a horse doesn't like a bit, the Jim Warner hack is a nice hack. Um, but if he, if you want to try working him in a bit as well, um, sometimes just a little O-ring combo or even the professional choice three ring or three piece dog bone faturity bit, all those can make it, but yeah, I'm sure you've got something in there, um, you know, that oh, some horses like a Loomis gag or something. I don't necessarily want the wire over the pole, but I just like, um, even if you can just work them in an O-ring or an S-hack or beetle hack, whatever light bridle you can do your training in, the better. And um, this looks great. So then you finish it with asking him to woe, not necessarily a hard woe, but when you sat down here, um, he yielded down. You could do a complete loose rein woe, but you transition trot walk and then backed up nice and straight. Um, working off your legs a little bit, you know, from your hands, he does get a little behind the vertical. And then right here, no spurs. So you're asking him to do his 360 off your leg. And he did it very nicely. Um, I like your hand position. You keep your hands in the six inch box. A little direct rein for nose, a little neck rein, and then lots of leg. If he ignores your squeeze, you you tap or kick. And um, you did 360s both ways. He backed nice. He did all of that gorgeous. So um, like I said, you can make it fun and, and trot over the ground poles, walk them, just kind of change it up. But I don't see anything that um, he did wrong. He really is trying to listen to you. And you kind of just made the pattern your own. Um, like I said, you, you got picked up your right lead nicely here and you come around, it's supposed to be a ranch riding pattern that has a big figure eight straight line in the middle. So you come around a little bit tight to avoid the barrels and the poles, break to a trot, set up for left lead. By the time you get to the corner, you should be left lead. So you could actually get that sooner and you could be loping left lead there. So, but you actually pick up your left lead here, which is fine. I think you're right. It might've called for trotting all the way to the corner and then break to the trot. I would do that a little bit sooner he swapped really fast. That was a quick transition change. You could get that right in the middle as well. Um, he, he goes so fast. He's got such a big speed. And then on the straightaways, when he gets in a hurry, you're bumping him to ask him. Just talk to him easy, sit deep. Um, ideally, uh, if he's lacking and wanting to throw his head, uh, work on vertical face flexing where he doesn't. But like you said, he, you're just trying to find something he likes. To wear and then your backing was nice and straight all of it looks really good so this i believe was put in the group as a summer series to do i think it was in july um, it might have been the beginning of july but i'm so glad you did it and i love it and i'm gonna share it in the group and i hope others take part in it too because again the pattern is the ground poles are here and and then you can walk or jog over them and then post trot pick up uh, your right lead, break to a trot by the center, and then pick up your left lead, come around, down your left lead, break to a trot, pick up your right lead, come around, and then you can come around here and you can stop here, back up, 360 left, 360 right, or you can do like she did and come all the way around the corner and stop over here in front of your video as well and do it from there. Either place is fine and you can modify it and make it your own as well for your space that you have available. But um, I love this because it can work. You could also do a loose rein woe instead of 
a you know trot walk stop back up you could make it more of a dramatic dramatic woe as well but it really works on all the basics um you could even add to it over here in the length um, when you were coming around uh, you could even do left nose in nose out and nose head down vertical as well like i said it's fun you can just add what you want to it but i love it because it uses the whole arena and gets them thinking more on basics and a pattern that doesn't have anything to do with a barrel or a pole um going around it anyways maybe some ground poles so but this is beautiful great job and thank you for sharing